Yo, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is show you guys how to recover permanently deleted photos and videos on your iPhone or iPad. This is going to be on iOS. It's working up to iOS 26, the latest one, the new glass one. And if you're still in the old one, which is iOS 18, this is going to be working as well in 2025 and coming into 2026. And what we're going to be doing is getting this app called iRecovery here. You're not going to need a computer for this. Um, and what this lets you do is you can go ahead, as you guys can see, it says iRecovery, so it's not going to look like photos, but um, what you're going to do is press recover, um, and then basically what this is going to do is try and recover your permanently deleted photos and videos. So if you've deleted photos and videos in the past 30 days, you can go to the recently deleted section um, and restore those um, easily. Every iPhone and iPad does that. However, if it's gone past that date, you need to use this app called iRecovery. And as you guys can see, it's found um, 73 photos and 14 videos found. You press restore, um, and then it's basically gonna go ahead and try and restore those photos and videos. Um, this is a completely free app to install. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this by the end of the video. Um, and by the end of the video, you're gonna get basically all your old photos and videos back that you might have deleted, um, and it's gonna say restoration complete. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to get the iRecovery app. Now there are gonna be some settings on our iOS that we need to go ahead and check. So come over here to settings and we're gonna to go to the search bar and we need to go make sure that background app refresh is turned on. So if you type in background app refresh, um, this needs to be on for this to go ahead and work. Um, this is on by default for every single iPhone and iPad. Um, however, if you're on low power mode, it will turn this off. So get off low power mode if you wanna install this. Okay, next what we're gonna do is go ahead and get the iRecovery app. So what I want you guys to do is come to this website called www.nowplugins.com. So N-O-W and then P-L-U-G-I-N-S.com, nowplugins.com. It's gonna load this website right here and as you guys can see, it's gonna be the nowplugins.com website. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be iRecovery, all these other um, kind of add-ons and stuff that you can get for your device. Um, so what you wanna do is just type in i recovery and it's going to look like that and you can see recover photos and videos ios so what you want to do is tap on this it's going to come up with the iRecovery app recover photos and videos for ios your iphone that you're on and the ios version you're on and just press install now what this is going to do is now plugins is basically going to go ahead and install the um iRecovery app to your device. This should take about 30 seconds to 45 seconds for it to install. It kind of really depends on um, basically your, what type of phone you have. If you've got a newer phone, it'll probably be quicker or faster internet. Um, but yeah, it's basically just going to load um, and then take us to the spot where we can actually go ahead and get the app. And remember guys, this is completely for free. Um, it doesn't cost you anything at all and it's super easy. And the best thing about it is now plugins does this without having to use a computer. So this is the best thing about this. Um, um, yeah, um, as you guys can see now, it is now finished loading. It's going to take you to this page here called plugininstaller.org. Now this is completely normal. Just simply wait for this to load. Um, and it's going to say two of these additional plugin files need to be installed for your plugin to install. So you're going to see the iRecovery app icon right there. That means you're onto the right thing. But in order for this to install, because we're not using a computer, it is going to need some additional plugin files. I'm going to basically explain that. These are these additional plugins files that are from the iOS store. So what you do is you simply tap on it. They're going to have some instructions that you need to go ahead and complete. For example, this one, Travel Town here, wants you to go ahead and get to level nine um, in the um, Travel Town app. So what you would do is you press play. Okay, you get it. Come over here, continue with that updates. Now you might have different ones to me. I'm just at the time of recording this, this is what happens for me. There's gonna be different ones, but as long as you can read instructions, you're gonna be all good. It's super easy and it's completely for free. Um, and it won't be able to install the iRecovery app without these. Like I said, not all of them are this hard where it says you gotta to get to a level in a game. Some are gonna be easy like this one right here. Let me go ahead back to this page and show you. So this one says Evertail. It says go ahead and get the Evertail up app and then play it for 30 seconds. So all you gotta do is simply get the Evertail app right here, as you guys can see. Wait for it to load, you press open, it's a free app, you just get it, and then you open the app. It's that easy. So um, there's all kind of different ones that you have to do and kind of can choose. Remember, you need to do two in order for this to install. So make sure whichever ones you choose, just to complete them, it's super easy, it's free, shouldn't you take you too long, and once you've got that, you'll have the iRecovery app just like that. So hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section if you guys do need any help with this. Um, thanks so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.